Okay, everybody, we're going to try something new this morning. So, I have seen, oh, I just drew a blank on who I was video, I found this on. I've been watching her for a while, so I'm really annoyed I can't remember her name. But she puts her collagen in water with just drink enhancer. And I have this collagen, and I've just never been able to stomach it because of the taste in coffee like i just can't stand it in my coffee and this is the same brand she uses in her water and she even uses two scoops so i'm gonna try it to see what i think because i do want to use this collagen um it has and she even used two scoops but two scoops is 70 calories and 20 grams of protein so i'm only using 35 calories and 10 grams of the collagen peptides oh it's 18 grams protein so nine grams of protein so we're gonna try it in the water and I'm hoping I can drink it like this. I didn't use room temperature water. I use cold water in my fridge, but I think next time, if I think this is clumpy or it doesn't mix well, I'll try like room temperature and just add ice. Oops, sorry, I bummed y'all. Oh, and I added a battery to my hand mixer. So if your hand mixer it doesn't seem like it's working anymore or it's really slow it's because the batteries are dying because i changed it and put like a good name brand battery in it instead of like what comes with it and it works so much better okay it's like bubbly uh, i don't know about this guys but we're gonna try it let's add our water enhancer Let me take a sip and I'll let y'all know. Not bad, actually. I think I can drink it. I'm going to add some ice to make it a little colder. And I put end up putting three squirts of this. But I think I can drink it. I'm going to link um, the person's channel below that I found this from. And if you don't like collagen in your coffee, try it in flavored water. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. If you're watching this the day I'm posting it but it is breakfast time. Um, you would have previously seen my water that I made um, cause I had the collagen water first and it was actually really good. I drank the whole thing, no problem, really good. So I'll definitely be doing that more often. Like I'm gonna try to do it every day and maybe do it after my coffee, like before I have breakfast because it's 9.23 and usually I eat breakfast around 8.39. So it did hold me over a little bit longer too. So, but now we're having our breakfast. So this morning we're having overnight oats, but this time I, instead of almond milk, I used the Fairlife chocolate milk um, that has like 14 grams of protein in a serving. So we're gonna try this and see if I like it a little bit better because it has extra protein. It's a little higher calorie than my almond milk, but it's a way to get more um, protein in. So here's my chocolate overnight oats. We're gonna go eat breakfast and I'll see y'all at snack or lunch time. Okay, everybody, so this is lunch. It looks like a lot of food and it looks like a lot of calories, but it's not. It's under 500 calories. I can't remember the exact calories, but it's under 500 calories. We have some mayo chicken that we made. Um, I found that on just Jamie Allison's channel. It's really good, low calorie. We got a little over a serving of french fries, which is only like 140 calories. Really good macros. And then we have some red grapes. It looks like a whole bunch of grapes, but it, we need to use it up and it's not that many calories under 100. So this is lunch. Hey everybody, so I just wanted to come back. I didn't talk about my lunch very long because I was in a hurry. So I just wanted to kind of chat with y'all about it. Hi, there you go, sorry. And yes, that is a whole bunch of toys that my son knocked out before he left this morning and I have not had time to clean them up. But, um, so lunch was really good and I was right. It was only 570 calories, which was amazing for that much food. The mayo chicken, which is what the chicken was, it was only like 200 and something calories for that whole serving. So good. I'll definitely make it again. I don't know if my hubby loved it, but he'll be okay. I might just make it for myself or yeah, he'll be okay. <laughs> but anyway, so that was a really filling lunch and I'm really full, but I'm having that like, I'm full. Like I know I don't really need food, but I'm still kind of like, uh, I'm craving something. So we're going to have a cream cream soda dr pepper the zero sugar and we are going to have this and then i just want to go ahead and show you all my snack because i know i'm going to be in a hurry when i end up eating this 
We're just gonna have this 130 calorie, 17 grams of protein built bar. It's the double chocolate flavor. And I'll probably just heat it up and eat it with a fork or a spoon. Built bars, I really, really enjoy, but the texture is just something I don't love. It's harder, it's chewier, it sticks to your teeth. I don't love that. So I like to warm them up just a minute and then, not a minute, like a few seconds, probably like 10, 15 seconds. Like I would start small and then test it. Um, but I enjoy warming it up because then it's a really like creamier texture and that tastes just like a candy bar. I do think I enjoy the Built Puffs a little bit more than the protein bars because yes, they're chewy, but they give me more marshmallow vibes, I guess. But anyway, so this will be my afternoon snack. Um, if we have anything else before dinner, it'll definitely just be like fruit or something really low calorie. Um, cause for dinner we're having meatloaf and it's going to be like a higher calorie. I'm using this. I have it set out. So I remember I'm going to make it on my break later. Um, Kinder's meatloaf seasoning. Everybody talks about how amazing this Kinder seasoning is, which I do use some of them, but I've never used their seasoning packets before. So we're going to try it. And it says to use a pound and a half ground beef, a cup of breadcrumbs, a half a cup of milk and three eggs. So that's gonna have a lot of calories. Um, so we'll see. Um, and then we're gonna have mashed potatoes with it and then a veggie. And then the kids will probably have bread. I had bread last night for dinner, but tomorrow's weighing in. The meatloaf is gonna be high in calories. I don't think I'll be able to fit bread in, but we'll see. I might actually use a little less breadcrumbs, maybe a little less egg. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like. I wanna fully like, appreciate their seasoning and their recipes um so we might not change it and just make our calories work for the day but anyway that was our lunch this is what we're having for snack and then i will show you dinner when we get to dinner time i wanted to show y'all my lunchtime activity we're not working out today we should be but i just have a lot i need to do so um it's gonna stress me out to take that time for myself which is bad don't do that don't listen to me Take the time for yourself and work out, but maybe I'll be able to get one in this afternoon um, after work. But anyway, we are going to make some peanut butter sandwiches for my hubby. This bread needs to be used up. Um, I bought it to make his sandwiches, and I should have done it already, but I haven't. And the date, best buy date's today, and I'm definitely not going to have time to make them tomorrow. So we're going to make these. If your kids or husband or whatever like to snack on the Incrustables, and they don't mind the crust. Like I know you can use the crust things and cut the crust off. But my husband loves these and doesn't mind the crust. And my son will even eat them with the crust. So I'm just going to Sam's peanut butter, grape jelly, wrap them in aluminum foil and freeze them myself. And it saves a lot of money. Okay, here's dinner. I have the broccoli with a few grams of cheddar cheese. We have our three little meatloaf cups. We made them into muffins with our serving of mashed potatoes and... I actually did have room for a roll. My total calories for this dinner was like 800 calories, so definitely really high in calories. But I was able to make it work because I didn't have any other snacks and I'm not having dessert. So that's what we're having Thursday night before okay, weigh in. Super, super, super bad lighting in here, but it's time to work out. We're going to do a bar with Allie Lowe. I'm glad I don't have to wash my hair tonight. That was definitely an arm burner. I'm going to end my night here. Thank you for watching. And that was 139 grams of protein today.